Well, a highlight every year at Christmas time for kids, of course, is to sit on Santa's lap and tell him what you're hoping to get as a gift. That's right. It's a tradition for many families, I'd say. And for some kids in D.C., they got to meet a Santa Claus who was deaf. Caroline Patrikis explains. For Kivan Woodard, this is a day his family will never forget. I just wanted to come out and respect my mom and ask for a dirt bike. I asked for a black dirt bike. So they said if I respect my mom and don't open my eyes on Christmas Eve and keep them shut, I'll get it. He's joined by dozens of other deaf and hard of hearing children who are able to communicate their wishes to Santa Claus through American Sign Language. Four years ago, you know, somebody just asked me, do you want to be Santa Claus? And I, I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't for me. But my wife encouraged me to give it a try. I put on the suit and I realized I felt something in me. And I could see it in the mirror. You know, I felt like the real Santa Claus. It was magical. Santa Charles Graves visits with hundreds of deaf children every year. Today, he's at the Gaylord National Resort at National Harbor. Our first language is American Sign Language, and it's wonderful to be able to sign. Growing up, we never had a deaf Santa Claus, and now we do. And that's very wonderful, especially for my son to be able to communicate and have that vision of the memory of seeing Santa Claus and having that positive communication is very inspiring. Before they sat next to Santa, he took them through an interactive experience in an ice cave where everyone could understand what's being said. And it's not just that. Uh, white, black, Asian Santa Claus, the most important thing for us was having the sign language there. Santa Charles says he hopes to inspire hearing parents of deaf children to learn fluent American Sign Language.